Howdy folks, uh, in this segment I'm, I'm just going to make a, a drum, a simple drum. We should be able to do this pretty quick and easy. So first of what we will do, we will make the rim and then we'll make the lug nuts which tighten the head and then we'll make the shell. Okay, let's start out by going in object mode. Well first, I think I'm going to work in the solid shading mode which is the gray there and we want to make sure we go here make sure back face culling is selected here that way if we've got any faces that are on the wrong side we'll be able to see that happening okay first of all I'm going to add a mesh cylinder and let's increase the vertices a bit, maybe 48. Alright, what I'm going to do now is scale this thing down pretty thin because we're making the basically the rim here. Okay, let's go into the edit mode, select the top face, and we're going to put it we're going to insert some faces here by pressing the I key and we'll just move them in about that much and then we're going to extrude them down using the E key not too much we want to get them kinda close like that to the edge alright once we got that done we're just going to put a loop cut here cut tool select it okay got that now we want to select the bottom edges here so I'm going to my move tool and make sure my edge is selected and I'm going to press the alt key and that should select all our bottom edges all the way around okay and then I'm going to just scale it out about that far. Okay, that looks good. Maybe I can scale it out a bit more. Yeah. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is make our lugs or tighteners, whatever you want to call them. We'll go back to edit mode, deselect this. Of course, you're going to have the edges showing there, so you might may want to go into shade smooth. Hit shade smooth and then go over to our data properties and go to the normals hit auto smooth and that looks a lot smoother okay the next thing we will do is we'll add our shell so basically we're going to add a mesh cylinder the same thing and we're going to scale it down and let's scale it smaller to about right there Make sure we pull it down past that face we created on the rim there. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to, I need another cylinder, so I'm just going to duplicate this one. Shift D, move it over here, and we're going to make one of the screw, screws that go into the, the uh, loop or the rim here. So I'm going to scale this down quite a bit small and select our scale tool move it up then I'm going to go into the front view here and have a look at it let's see let's grab it and pull it over here because we want it to go in up into here into this rim so let's scale it down to make it pretty small we use our move tool and a bit smaller and we'll move it up past the rim a bit and towards sticking out a bit okay next step is to add us a cube add a mesh cube we're going to scale it down pretty small too put it right in here let's go to the front
front view again. Okay. Scale it up. And then we'll move it. Let's go ahead and scale it more till it's kind of moved into the shell. And then we'll move it over here a bit. Okay. Let's scale it just a hair bit more. And move it down just a bit. Okay, now we'll go through to our see-through mode here. Click on that where we can basically see through it. We'll select it again, then we'll go to our edit mode. Select the edge. We'll get this last edge here and we'll just pull that down. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back into our object mode. Turn off our see-through. Okay, that looks good. This looks like a garbage can, so I'm going to go ahead and shade it smooth. And then auto smooth. That looks quite a bit better. Okay, now we're going to make the lugs here. Since we've centered up everything, we'll use our spin tool, and it's going to spin everything around the cursor here. So let's go ahead and select both of these and join them together by going to object and join. Okay, it should be one object now. Now let's go to edit mode and hit the A key to select all of this and go to our spin. Once we hit spin it's going to give us this reference to where it's going to spin it. Okay, so we'll just click one of these and that's put 12. We only need put 12 uh, lugs around there. We only need about 8 maybe. Okay, go back into object mode. Okay, now you'll notice our back face culling is showing up here so we need to make all these lugs face outward. So we'll select it again go into edit mode, select the A key. Now we we'll go down to mesh and go up to normals and then we want to choose recalculate outside. And that took care of that. Now we're pretty much done with this. The only thing we're going to need to do is if you want to head on the bottom we'll just take this one and duplicate it bring it down to the bottom and we'll rotate it 180 degrees make sure 180 yep I was right on it and we'll just move it up and then we'll put our lugs down here too but we're going to run into an issue with the lugs here because if you'll notice our center is here so if we spin it it won't work right so let's just go into the object mode and we'll go to set origin origin to geometry and that'll put it right in the center now we can just duplicate this shift D move it down and then rotate it 180 180 and move it down make sure it goes through those a bit and there we go go into shading mode again now we got a nice little drum and you can always go tweak this more if you want to of course you're going to want to add textures and we may get into that one on the next version of this. So guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.